been a, a summer university participant myself, so I've experienced what it's like to be a student. And I, I thought the self is a very interesting topic. In a sense, it seems that you know almost anybody is interested in the self because we all have this feeling that we are somehow a self. And so it's a very fundamental question. And uh, you have to really come at it from different directions. Because if you come at it from only one disciplinary perspective, you're bound to miss a lot of uh, the richness of the phenomena. For instance, Maurice Bloch he was trying to teach us how an anthropologist would think about problems of the self, and in particular what kind of worries an anthropologist would have. And the worry is that a lot of us come from a Western tradition and we have a certain way of thinking about the self that is really grounded in our culture. But he was really managing to spell out for us what the alternative is, so how you can have a culture where people think about themselves in terms of the relations they have with other people rather than in terms of who they are as an individual. The idea would be to provide a, an overview of the cutting-edge research on the topic of the self where it was understood that the professionals doing this research were as yet not talking to each other, though they should, and also bring together students of these various disciplines so that they could benefit from this interaction. I'm trying to characterise those kinds of thoughts that we have about ourselves, which uh, for philosophers is understood as a very special kind of thought. So it's not thought about yourself where you're accidentally thinking about yourself. So you might not realise that you are the person that you're thinking about. So we think of these thoughts as spe um, specially self-conscious thoughts and trying to understand what in is involved in thinking about yourself in that way is actually very difficult. Very often when you think about what's a self, you point to the human. But then when you think about how we think about ourselves and how we conceive of ourselves as persons and social creatures and so on, I mean, we, we often want to think of ourselves as somehow transcendent beyond the body. And what could that possibly mean? Psychology um, offers us a lot of very sort of strange cases at first, a lot of delusions and that kind of thing. And I think as philosophers, we should be interested in, in that sort of cases. So really not very normal experiences, but experiences that can really challenge our concepts and our theories. So I think that's one reason why we really have to engage in that sort of dialogue. I think working in the philosophy of mind, not only should we be empirically aware, so we have to try and understand what psychologists are doing, but there's a real role for philosophers to um, help psychologists in thinking about what they're doing. And so there's a lot that we can um, mutually gain from being able to work together. And the opportunity to have these general discussions with several members of the faculty from different disciplines meant that we also got this kind of interchange between them as well as with our students. Certain foundational questions were raised and a lot of students were having to work in specific groups which they defined by themselves, which were related to specific questions that one could ask about the self but cut across disciplinary boundaries. So I think there was always time to discuss um, our ideas and the ideas of the presenters during the course, after the presentations, but also in the afternoon or over dinner. I saw people in constant discussions and like exchanging ideas. That was, I mean, definitely some special experience. Well, I think yes, it was what we what we expected. Um, but at the same time, of course, interdisciplinary work is, is never going to be easy. I mean, it's, it's a very difficult process. I think the the interesting question is: is it also a rewarding process? And I think it is a rewarding process, um, and there there are results that that can be attained in this way. And it was really nice to see how this mutual learning from each other happened not just on a student level but also on a faculty level. We had very high powered faculty and uh, they were impressed by the interest of each other's work so it was clear that the interactions will, will now affect the work that they're currently producing. There was a great sense that um, we have to do this together if we are to make progress on the nature of the self, on how to think about it. And that's why we have all these disciplines. And, and I, I think that's going to continue. And in a way, I, I, I have to say that we perhaps inaugurated a trend. <laughs>